My mining rigs put out a massive amount of heat and not only did it make my house unbearable to live in now during the summer, but some of my cards also started overheating and thermal throttling, but I was able to solve all of that while spending less than $50 and in this video I'll show you how. Warning, there are people pretending to be me in the comments and on social platforms. I'll never ask you to add me on WhatsApp or Telegram and I'll never ask you to send me money, crypto or your personal information. All right, so please be careful, use your common sense and don't let any of these imposters fool you. All right, now back to the video. Hey, how's it going GPU heads? Thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I built this thing over here that I like to call a sort of styrofoam heat box. Basically a miniature hot and cold aisle situation for my at-home mining farm here. And the best part about it is that not only was it really cheap and pretty easy to build, but it also doesn't use any extra electricity, you know, by relying on exhaust fans or anything like that. So in this video, first I'm going to show you sort of the design of it and how it all works in theory, right? And then I'm going to show you how I actually built it and sort of how it turned out in real life. And then finally, I'll do a price breakdown for how much it all cost, basically. All right, so let's check it out. All right, so here we are on the computer. And as you can see, I designed the whole thing in SketchUp here. Basically, it's a sort of styrofoam box that is connected to a window and then just basically slotting my Octominers into that styrofoam box, which then means the hot air coming out of the Octominers have nowhere to go but out the window. The styrofoam box basically blocks all of the air from, you know, getting back into the room and heating up the house again and forces it to be pushed out of the window basically. So if I just hide all of the Octominers here, you can see it's not a very complicated design at all. It's just a few pieces of styrofoam that I glued together using heat resistant glue and then stuck into the window and then that basically takes care of the whole thing. And the reason I believe it's worked so well is because obviously with all of my cards being in Octominers like this, you are able to just contain all of the heat coming from the graphics cards and push them in one specific direction. You know, if these were open air rigs, it would have been a really hard time sort of aiming that hot air coming out of them into a box like this and then exhausting it out a window. But because of that, you know, not only do the Octominers or any other server case in that matter, this video isn't sponsored by Octomine or anything. I just actually really like using them. But because they're in, you know, server cases like these, not only is the hot air, you know, contained, but with all of the strong fans, they actually push the air on their own which means I don't need any sort of external exhaust fans to take that hot air and, you know, push it out of a vent or a window. The Octominers push the air, you know, on their own. So basically that is the, you know, SketchUp I made and sort of the theory behind how it works. So now let's have a look at it in real life and I'll also show you sort of how I actually put it together. All right guys, so here it is in real life. Now obviously I have everything off so that you can actually hear what I'm saying because the Octominers do get a little bit loud, at least too loud for recording a video in here. Now, as you can see, there is one rig there that I obviously have not converted into a server case, and that is my all white ROG Strix 3070 rig. Now, to be fair, this rig does not put out very much heat at all, and whatever heat that rig actually does put out, these Octominers will just sort of take in and push out of the window anyway. And what's so cool about this is that basically the server fans in the Octominer cases is basically working as my exhaust fan for this setup. So it's kind of a two birds, one stone situation there. But let me move one out the way and I'll show you sort of how the um, whole thing is built. All right, so I removed one of the Octominers here so you can see better. And basically all it is is just a styrofoam box that is connected to a window here that is you know permanently open and as you can see here it doesn't go all the way down and if you're wondering why that is it's because uh, basically all the fans all the hot air that goes over the gpus in the octominer it comes out above this sort of edge here what's below here are all the power supplies and i actually rather wanted to have all of my cables like the power cables and the ethernet cables of my server cases coming out below the heat box here so that I could still manage these cables and you know just keep it neat and handy and not have to have the cables go through the box coming out somehow you know so the server cases just slot onto here 
and it works beautifully. And guys, just a quick reminder that if you are working in a warm environment like this, it is really important to stay hydrated, which is why I always keep my official GPU heads water bottle on hand. Guys, check it out. You can get that at gpuheadswithaz.com. That is our official merch store. You can also get this awesome t-shirt that I'm wearing. And just know that if you do decide to pick something up from there, that is a great way to support the channel and get something awesome in return. So check it out at gpuheadswithaz.com. And now back to the styrofoam box. So let me walk you through the process of building this whole thing. And basically the very first thing that we did was we screwed this window stuck. So it is open and it's open at a width where no human could fit through there basically and it's completely screwed stuck so you can't you know open it up any further and you also can't you know it can't blow close or anything like that is it's stuck open at this level and then as you can see um, we also did put up some chicken wire. Uh, and that is mostly just to keep from critters getting in, you know, a bird flying in or anything like that. Just keeping, you know, animals out basically. And then it was just a matter of putting the styrofoam box together. So the way I did was basically these pieces that are connected to the windowsill. Uh, I just attached with hot glue. And yes, while it will get pretty warm in this box, it will not get hot enough to melt the hot glue. And actually, now that all of the pieces are in place, they all kind of just hold each other in here so after all the glue there isn't that necessary the reason i went for a hot glue there is just because you know if or when we decide to get rid of this thing in the future uh, we wanted to have it sort of be you know fairly clean and have the window still still be intact afterwards but then all of the styrofoam pieces are actually glued together with each other uh, using this glue that I found, Casco Superset. It actually mentions specifically on there that it is good for styrofoam. Uh, you have to be careful with what kind of glue you actually use for styrofoam because if the glue has a solvent in it, it will actually dissolve the styrofoam rather than stick to it. And I know you can see a lot of tape on here, but that tape was actually just to hold the pieces in place while the glue set. So I could rip all of this tape off now if I wanted to, but I mean, whatever, <laughs> I'll just keep it there. But so with all of the pieces, you know, glued together, the box was basically, you know, complete. But just because I like being extra, I also did, as you probably saw earlier, spray some spray foam insulation along all of the sort of joints in the box here. Now, that is just because when cutting the styrofoam, the cuts weren't perfectly straight. So it did leave tiny little gaps and I figured eh, I'll fill those in with this sort of spray foam insulation. Now, same goes for spray foam insulation. You have to be careful that it doesn't have solvent in it because that will dissolve your styrofoam. So again, this is what I used, just sort of a can of spray foam insulation. You can probably pick these up at your local hardware store for very cheap. And yeah, then it was just a matter of fitting all of my miners in. So as you can see, I have cutouts for three Octo Miners now, as well as I also put my iPolos here. Shout out to Jingle Mining if you do want to get one of these. They are great for mining Ethereum, well now up until the merge, or Ethereum Classic after. Uh, I have a promo code if you do want to get these for the best possible price that's linked in the description. However, that's not the point of this video, but I just wanted to show you here too how, you know, this, while I have three Octo Miners in there now, it does actually fit a full six octo miners so i could take this piece of styrofoam away and fit another three octo miners for a total of six and then i could put my mini a6 and just put them up top here but yeah it really isn't that complicated of a build you guys and it has worked beautifully it basically solved both my issues the house is nice and cool now and not only that so are also my cards they are not overheating anymore i have had zero thermal throttling since building this little box here so all in all extremely happy with how this worked out it's been a complete savior of my mining farm so let me walk you through sort of the actual cost of building this whole thing but first a quick word from our sponsor nerdgears.com is a great online shop for crypto mining hardware for example if you're looking for gpus they have them in stock and ready to ship at competitive prices they also have miner rig starting kits risers splitter cables and much more but my favorite product of theirs is by far their 240 volt pdus for powering your mining rigs properly they are safe to use for up to 7200 watts and come in both regular and metered versions that let you track the power consumption of your rigs 
They are based in the United States and they accept both PayPal and crypto as payment methods. So check them out through the link in the description and use code SEB for a discount. All right, so here is my extremely tiny spreadsheet that I made just to track the cost there. And as you can see, I needed to get six pieces of this styrofoam board. Now I only know the size of these boards in metric, but they are 120 centimeters by 60 centimeters by three centimeters thick. And for six of them, I paid the equivalent of $14.90. Then I got the glue, which cost $12.90. I got the sort of spray foam insulation, and that was $9.90. And finally, I got the chicken wire to sort of keep critters from coming in, and that was $11.90 for a total of $49.60. Now, of course, I was only able to actually solve my heat issue like this because I do have my cards in server cases and I have access to a fairly large window that I can leave open at all times. So I'm not saying this is the end all be all to how to deal with heat, but if you are in a situation like mine, just know that this is an option for you and it's really inexpensive and quite easy to build for yourself. However, if you do have mostly open air rigs or you're mining in a location where you don't have access to windows and have to pipe all your heat out through vents, then of course something like a grow tent with both intake and exhaust fans is probably going to be your better bet. But I did want to share this with you guys because it's been working so great for me. But that's it. Now if you enjoyed this video, then please give it one of these. And if you really liked it, you can now join the channel to help support what I do here. It really does make a big difference and it means a lot to me, so thank you. And as a bonus, if you do decide to join, you also get access to our private Discord chat room. I love talking with you guys in there. But what you gotta do now is you gotta click on one of those videos on the screen. Because this video is over, you can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video and I shall see you there. Goodbye. Goodbye, bye, bye.